so a lot of guys do this where like you see LeBron show up with his entourage, they'll rent out a store at the mall and then they'll whatever. But they, you know, they close the doors, they lock the place down. Like you can see them through like the bars and stuff, but they're in there shopping by themselves. This man rented out a candy store and left the doors wide open. And like, you know, almost like he wanted to be seen like I rented out a candy store. And maybe not. Maybe it's a nice day and he just wanted that breeze coming in. Either way, I mean, you you ain't gonna if you do that, you ain't gonna stop people coming in off the street if they see Ben Simmons in there by himself. Hundred percent. So you know he had security, but I mean, you know that they're you know security is pretty lax nowadays. Like they're not trying to get in trouble because it's easy for security to go too far and then get in trouble. So anyway, this dude just wandered right in and starts calling him Westbrook, just calling him Russell Westbrook, and. uh he fist bumped Ben Simmons. And by the way, I got AD with that one time. Uh, I just walked up and was like, hey, AD, what up? And then fist bumped him. And out of instinct, they fist bump. And then they look at you like, oh, shoot, who is this guy? Get out of here. Like, where's my security? <laughs> I got AD with that once. And he was cool about it. But he definitely right away was like, security, get this dude, whatever. Right. And, um, you know, but but I saw it coming. So I was already moving away. I knew, I knew it was going to happen. So, but with this, same thing, man. He fist bumps the guy, and then he starts looking around like, what's happening here? And the dude's like, oh, Russell Westbrook, Russell Westbrook, man, you're my guy, whatever, blah, blah, And then as he's walking out, security's telling him, like, move. He's like, yeah, you're Russell Westbrook. You can't shoot. And then that's where people are like, oh, dang, like, this was this was a troll. This was – he didn't act – you know, whatever. Good. The thing is, he said that he did it because West uh, – uh, <laughs> I call him Westbrook now. Ben Simmons – uh, turned down taking a picture with some kids, and that's why he said he did it. He saw he said some kids asked for a picture, and instead of taking a picture with the kids and giving them some buying them some candy and telling them split, he told them to you know bug off whatever. And so he said he told he said I walked up and told the kids, hey man, I'll get him for you, and that's why this video became a thing. So wow, it, so yeah. this is over. Wow, okay. So it's yeah, so time. people were saying, like, this guy was rude. And like I said, I wouldn't do it personally. But, like, if he's telling the truth, a little trolling here and there ain't whatever. It is what it is. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they should have locked the doors. Like, I'm sorry. Like, if you rent a place out, you don't want no one just walking off the street. Why are the doors wide open? Like, they had, like, several doors open, like, in the place. So it just you could walk in from any angle. Hey, I love the kids, man. Everybody know JT love the kids, but. It's some days you don't feel like doing that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm, I'm like, people are human. People forget people are human. I get it. They may not ever see a Ben Simmons again or an actual real NBA player. That's why I'm the type that would do it probably all the time, more than probably I would want to. But some people that, like, come on, man. He didn't want to take a jump shot. Right. So he, he his, his mind is somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, he's not. He just want to get his money, do him, and that's it. Like that's he don't. Thing. I, I don't yeah. think he wants the fame. I think it's the money with him. I don't think he wants the fame. I agree. I agree. But I like I said, that's why you shut the doors. Like if you don't want this, shut the doors. You know what I understand? It's tough, man. Like Michael Jordan can't freaking leave his house. Like yeah, you left his house in forever because people just gonna. And we him also forget the man from Australia. It's true. Yeah, I isn't he like a military kid though? I think he was every yeah he traveled everywhere, but I think he grew up like his his roots like yeah he's like Australia born in Australia or something like that. yeah, yeah. But so it's totally different over there. I just think my whole takeaway from this is people are saying it was disrespectful, and I agree because this was extremely disrespectful to Russell Westbrook. Right, like this is we're talking about one of the greatest players of our generation, and you're comparing him to this guy who won't shoot. I'm sorry, like do not compare the two. That's my thing. It's a disrespectful to Westbrook. Hey, Westbrook. You, have, you know I have not my to, opinions on Westbrook. Not to, not to Ben Simmons. This was disrespectful to Russell Westbrook, and that, that was my take. <laughs> I mean, I got to say, again, y'all know I have my take on Russell Westbrook. I just He's not my cup of tea. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, people. But just, I get it. I get it. I get what you're saying. Like, did uh, Westbrook accomplish more than Ben Simmons? You know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. making, a, I'm making a joke. Because people, saying, you know, yeah, people are saying he's being disrespectful, and I just took it another another way. But yeah, I feel that like it's just like when um, I was a rookie year, he crossed over Jordan. They asked him at the end of the game, like he said, he felt like that was disrespectful. 
I'm like, wow, Jordan, you feel like Iverson crossing you up? He said, oh, he's talented. But, you know, that was a disrespect. I'm like, wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember when, uh... It's always disrespectful when it's getting done to you, though. Yeah, exactly. When you're the one doing it, it's always oh, just a game. You know how it go. Yeah. It's a part of the game. But as far as the Ben Simmons things go, people just trying to get their 30 seconds of fame. Right. That's all it is. You know, it's like, bro, don't nobody care. Don't nobody care. <laughs> you know, we don't, you know, so what? You, you know, wouldn't nobody know about this story until you told it. You know, right. you know, Ben, no matter what you say or do, He's still a millionaire at the end of the day, and you still doing whatever you're doing. So, you know, when people when people are out to, you know, like make entertainers or, you know, these athletes, like embarrass them, it's like, why do you bother? You know, like, bro, it's not that it's not that serious. You know, and like to JT's point, everybody, you know, yes, I know what I do for a living. I know I got fans, I know I got, you know. People that look up to me, all that, but sometimes I'm just not feeling it. Look, little man, I know you see me. I know. I get it. But not today. Right. It's just not that. And this has nothing to do with you personally. It's just not right, today. Yeah. And even like them, with all the money they got, they wake up on the wrong side of the bed, too. It's just one more of so the than, More so than people who don't have that money. 